Hello guys, welcome back. It's more 49ers news. This is more uh, on the training camp that I've missed. Uh, I've done t- uh, day 12, as you've seen, about an hour and, uh, an hour and or two back. This is now day 13. Um, I'm sorry that I've missed out. I do apologise. Um, as I've said on the first video, I've not seen any scores on um, anything. I've not. I've deleted all apps, sorry. I need everything else. Um, I don't know about our, uh, the 49ers against the Chiefs game. I don't know about any other games. But I want to continue on with this, and once we're done, you'll see uh, in a few hours, maybe Monday afternoon, Monday evening, about the Chiefs and the 49ers' first preseason game. So, that being said, I'll shut up and get on with this one. Okay, so here we go. Grant Cohen, once again, has done an article. He was there, and this is August 12th. Um, uh, the good and not so good from day 13 of the 49ers training camp. Uh, an- analyzing the best and worst from the day 13 of the 49ers training camp. So here we go. Here's what stood out on the final day of the 49ers training camp. Keep in mind that the 49ers will practice twice next week in Costa Mesa against the Chargers, and I will attend both of those practices. So, the good wide receiver hurt. Uh, caught three passes, uh, which tripled his output of the one catch through the first 12 days of camp. Her quickly became a favourite target of Trey Lance, who has spent most of the camp throwing to Trent uh, Sherfield. If Hertz stays healthy through preseason, he'll probably will make the team. You can't deny his talent. Number two, right receiver, uh, Brandon Ayuk. Uh, with some starters took the day off, more, more of them about them below. Ayuk played with the first team, second team and third team offensive and caught a team higher five passes including a touchdown throw from Jimmy G. Ayuk had a terrific camp and did not get injured. Number three, wide receiver River uh, Carcroft uh, made a phenomenal limping twist for yard grab up the left side which was the best catch of the camp. Still he probably won't make the 53 man rooster uh, but he would be a terrific addition to the practice squad. He's a solid player. Number four, uh, tight end Ross Dewey made a clutch 20 yard touchdown grab on the uh, 4th and 6th uh, Ross beat rookie safety at Tanenkwa at Hivenia with a slight caught a r- rocket from Lance and Stride and uh, cruised into the end zone Dewey made an outstanding camp he looks noticeably bigger uh, particularly his lower body number 5 tight end Jordan Matthews made a first um made a first down catch on third and fourth. Matthews probably won't make the team as the fourth tight end, you know, if they keep the, t- uh, the four tight ends, they might keep only three. Number six, um, free safety, uh, Jamie Ward, almost, uh, intercept, uh, almost intercepted a Jimmy Garoppolo pass over the middle but dropped the ball. Ward was covering only man-to-man, which is extremely difficult matchup for a safety, but not for Ward. He's unique. That's good. Number seven, cornerback, Ambry Thomas. Okay. Broke up a nut stuff field path that was intercepted for Travis Benjamin up the right side. Thomas is improving. Benjamin isn't. Quarterback, uh, Nate Stuffield, uh, completed a 30-yard pass to I who ran a deep crossing route, and then should have completed a deep pass to Benjamin, but Benjamin dropped it more on Benjamin below. Number nine, quarterback Josh Rosson, uh, completed the only two passes attempts for the 49ers gave him. The second route was a 15-yard completion over the middle to a rookie undrafted free agent Austin Walkers, who beat Ken Webster for a dig route. Okay, now, but not so good. Number one, wide right receiver, Debo Samuel, didn't practice, ru- uh, rode a stationary bike. Okay, um... Number two, wide receiver Travis Benjamin dropped a deep pass from Stuffield. Probably won't make the team. Trent uh, Sheffield outplayed him and took his spot. Number three, defensive end Nick Bosa didn't show up to practice. Went a full training camp without hitting a body. Number four, defensive tackle uh, Javon Kinlaw didn't show up to practice. Went a full training without doing one-on-one drills. Number five, defensive end Samson Ibukman didn't show up to practice. Missed all but four days with a knee injury. Number six, right tackle Tom Compton. Gave up two sacks to Eddie uh, Jumberg, who won't make the team. Compton is the second string right tackle, which means this, uh, this Saturday you'll have to protect the 49ers' future fra- uh, franchise quarterback, Trey Lance. C- can you imagine if Compton misses a block and trance, Trey Lance gets injured? Okay, so imagine that, Tom Compton. Um, Like I said, this is practices. We're still putting the red down, still going for it. 
Nick Bosa. I don't think we're going to see him this season. If that's, if, if that's the final, the final training camp before the Chiefs, I am shocked. We will not see him in there. I reckon he'll be inactive for the for the Chiefs. Easy. There's no way he'll be put on. If he be put on, he's done for. And I think he's done for anyway. Being you know just by looking at these camps, so he ain't done nothing. I know I, I cannot see Nick Bosa doing anything. I really I can't. But that's it. Uh, that's all being said. Leave a comment down about. Uh, tell me anything about day thirteen. Have you got in your mind? And um, yeah, thank you very much for the forty subscribers. Really fortunate, humble, appreciated. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys uh, on the next video.